Hello friends, I am Najmu Sahar, lecturer in business studies from VUMC PU College, Chitradurga. Today I am here to explain the third chapter of your third chapter of your syllabus that is business environment. So as you see in here there are two words business and environment. What is business? Business means being busy in economic activity. And what is environment? Environment refers to the surrounding of us. Whatever we are witnessing is called as a environment. So this business environment is very important from the point of view of business. So in business environment, we have two environments, internal environment, external environment. Internal environment refers to the within the organization. Okay, the, the environment, uh, the factors which directly affect the operating of the business is called environment, internal environment. So the factors of internal environment like board of directors, management, employees, objectives, policies, etc. are the internal environmental factors. Whereas external factors are those factors which are outside of the organization. In, in external uh, environment, we have two types, micro or specific factor, macro and mac macro or general factors we have. Okay, these factors are going to have effect are ha going to have a bearing on the working of the organization. So in this chapter, we majorly concentrating on the external factors only. Let us discuss what exactly the meaning of business environment is. Business environment means the sum total of factors which influence the business and over which the business has no control. Business environment means what? Sum total of factors. Sum total of factors like specific factor as well as general factors. The specific factors like suppliers, competitors, employees, uh, government, market intermediaries these are the factors which influencing the or which affecting the working of the organization as well as the macro factors or general factors like economic environment social environment technological environment political and legal environment will also affect the working of your business form and over which the business has no control over these factors the business has no control as this factor changes accordingly you have your business will also have to adopt those changes the study of business environment is very important which helps the manager which enables the businessman to identify what are the threats available in the market and what are the opportunity available in the market by identifying by recognizing the threats and opportunities you are in a position to plan for the future that is what the meaning of business environment. Now let us discuss the features and nature of business environment. In that the first one is what totality of external factors. The first feature of business environment is totality of external forces. So the business environment is sum total of all external factors. All external factors like economy, social, technological, political and legal factors which are very aggressive in nature. Any changes in these factors will have a considerable bearing on your working of the organization. And your business have no control over these factors. You have to change according to the factors changes. Okay, that is what totality of external forces. Next is specific and general forces. Business environment include both specific and general factors specific factors are micro factors like investors suppliers competitors employees customers these are the specific factors these factors immediately and directly affecting the working of the organization for example simple example if the suppliers stop supplying the raw material for the organization then what will happen the production of the organization will be stopped or it may the production may be reduced okay so here this is a simple example of specific next is general forces general forces are those forces or factors which are affecting which are indirectly affecting the working of the organization where again the organization has no control over the those factors for example Economic environment. If the inflation rate increases, 
inflation rate increases then the total production of your organization the cost of production of the organization will be increase if the production cost increase the price for a product will also increase next interrelatedness the next feature of your business environment is interrelatedness so business environment have and the business has different elements and different parts each elements and each parts are interrelated to each other interdependent on each other any changes in one factor automatically bring the changes in another factor for example take the customers if the taste and preferences of the customer changes today like today's customers are very cautious about their health the the health uh, they demand the healthy product as the business manager he has to identify the demand of the customers and accordingly he have he has to produce the goods and services which are demanded by the customers because of these these demand the business are producing the business organizations are producing organic product organic product like maybe healthy products okay Le- uh, diet coke okay less fatty food and many healthy products are producing that is called interrelatedness next feature is dynamic in nature business environment is dynamic in nature as it keeps on changing okay the changes in the business environment is very frequent okay frequently the environment is going to change take example of technological upgrade upgrade uh, improvements technological upgrade upgradations okay the taste and preferences of the customers are going to change okay and next the market conditions of the organization is going to be changes day by day that is why it is considered as a dynamic in nature next feature is uncertainty so business environment is considered as a uncertain it is increasingly uncertain in nature why because we are in a difficult position to predict what is going to be happen in future so uncertain here he refers to what uncertainty means what lack of knowledge about the future so due to the lack of knowledge about the future we are not in a position to predict forecast what is going to be happen in next so that is why business environment will considered as uncertain next complexity in nature again business environment is considered as a complex why because it includes business environment includes numerous factors number of factors many factors it has been included and this environment this business environment is also dynamic in nature and it is also not easy to predict what is going to be happen so business environment can be easily studied when you want to study separately each factor when you study each factor separately then it easily understood when you want to understand overall factors of the business environment again you face some difficulty so that is why it is considered as a complexity due to the numerous factors due to the dynamic in nature and due to the uncertainty next feature is relativity business environment is a relative concept since this environment this business environment differs from one country to another country from one region to another region take for the instance the political state of our country the political condition of indian india is different from the pakistan and again it is different from the usa and take the traditional take the example of tradition of india so here the demand for the sari okay the sarees for demand for the sarees will be more in case of india when we compare same to the another countries like western countries the demand for the sarees will be literally low that is called relativity simple words it is different from one country to another country next let us discuss the importance of business environment so by studying the business environment as a business person is in a position to identify what is his position in the market where he is standing okay he come to know about his own strength his own weaknesses and his threat that is challenges and what are the opportunities available in a market in order to know these all swat swat analysis 
you must be aware of you should all have the knowledge of business environment so let us discuss one by one what is the importance of business environment first one identify opportunity and getting the first mover advantage first mover advantage so opportunity refers to the positive external trends or changes will help the firm to improve the performance so here identif identifying opportunity means what positive changes that will improve the performance of the organization so if you are aware of your business environment you are in a position to identify what are the positive trends are available in the market that will help your business organization to grow to expand and getting the first more advantage what is first more advantage if you know if you uh, analyze your business environment first you if you find if you grab the opportunity first then you will get the first to mover advantage over your competitors okay before your competitor grab the opportunity you must grab those opportunity first that is what first important next is identify threats and early warning signals threats refers to external environment trends and changes that will hindrance that will bring a problem for your business organization so threats here refers to what the negative trends available in a external factors it may be a competitors it may be a launching of a new products by the by the competitors or decreasing or increasing the price of a product or substitute goods and services produced by the another company these are the warnings these are the negative signals okay you have to identify and accordingly you have to plan for better okay so take a example of globalization the introduction of your globalization by the government in 1991 the domestic companies are facing numerous competition from the foreign countries so by identifying the threat by identifying the negative trends from these companies you are in a position to plan for counter moves okay counter move you can easily plan that is identifying threat next importance is coping coping with the rapid changes today's business environment is getting increasingly dynamic where changes are taking place at peace so here the changes are very very in nature okay the changes are obvious okay as we have seen the feature dynamic in nature the business is dynamic it is goes on changing day by day the changes like the changes like taste and preferences of the customer it may be a government policies it may be a technological improvements and updations advancement or it may be it may be a produ production of new goods and services these are the changes you have to adopt if you adopt the changes if you match with the present environment then only your business organization is going to survive for the longer period of time when you are going to cope up when you analyze when you study the business environment next tapping useful resources so environment is source of various resources and the business organization getting its resources from the environment the resources like inputs inputs like such as finance raw materials laborers water electricity etc these are the inputs which are essential for producing the output in return in back the environment is also expecting something from the business that is nothing but social responsibility we can say okay a uh, environment is accepting something from the business organization so in return what they are expecting that is what output the goods and services produced by the business organization so in return the customer needs quality quality goods and services at reasonable price paying the taxes to the government okay and uh, paying uh, uh, return on investors return on investment these are the example of tapping useful resources when you can tap the resources when you can get the resources when you can assemble the resources when you are aware when you have a knowledge about the business environment next helps in planning and policy formation the next importance of business environment is planning and policy formation 
when you analyze when you clearly understand about your business environment when you analyze the business environment you are in a position to make a plan to prepare a plan and frame a policy for the organization so planning that is for the future course of action what you want to do in a future and accordingly you have to prepare the policy as well when it will happen when you clearly analyze the business environment then you are in a position to make a plan and policies next helps in improving the performance business environment helps in improving the performance of a business organization the ultimate objective of study of business environment is to know to improve to grow the business what you are what you want to what is what are you in a present okay it it studies about the present the future and the past past present and future trends will give you or will improve you the performance of your organization next let us discuss the dimensions of business environment the business environment dimensions like the dimensions are economic environment political legal social and technological environment these dimension constitute the business environment next let us discuss one by one what is economic environment economic environment refers to the environment which has a direct and immediate effect on the operating of the business examples like rate of interest inflation rate changes changes in people of income of a people monetary policy price level etc are some of the economic factors which could affect the business form for example if the inflation rate increases the rate of inflation increases automatically the production the cost of production will also increases when the cost of production increase the cost will also price of a product will also increases take another example if the tax rates increases the tax rate of the government if the tax rate increase then again the price of product will also increase that is called economic environment next social environment social environment includes social forces such as customs belief literacy rate education education level life lifestyle values etc changes in social changes in social environment any changes in social environment will also have effect on the working of your organization in long run so here we see two terms tradition and values tradition refers to social practices that have lost for the decades the values the practices where what we are doing and values refers to the concept of concepts that society holds in a high esteem like freedom justice equality opportunity national integrity are called as a values in business view choice in a market business responsibility non discrimination in a employees are the examples of a social environment so here we have given one example nowadays people's people are paying more attention towards their health as a result of which demand for the mineral water diet coke etc has increased while demand for the tobacco fatty food products has been decreased this is what the lifestyle of a people has been changed the changes in the taste and preferences will also affect the business and business organization next is technological <coughs> environment technological em, uh, environment refers to or it is related to the scientific in improvements and innovations scientific developments which leads to which provides a new way of production produ new methods of production and uh, new methods and techniques of preparing of your business okay so you can uh, you can see the many uh, examples for technological environment previously we are go we used to produce the goods and services manually but later on we using machineries and now we are using robotics okay similarly take example of uh, we, we used to use uh, uh, traditional watches now we are using digital watches these are the technological improvements and 
advancement and this environment technological environment will also have considerable bearing on your business organization next political environment political environment refers to political stability if the political stability instable then it is going to affect the business organization this political environment includes political conditions such as general stability peace in country and specific attitude that elect the government stability in political condition is necessary for smooth working of your business organization if the business political condition is stable constant then it will brings the confidence among the business community while the political instab instability and bad law and order will bring the uncertainty in business and apart from that the ideology ideology of the political party attitude of the government towards the business type of single government party or coalition government affect the business organization next legal environment legal environment here refers to it includes legislation passed by the government administrations rules orders by the government authorities court judgment as well as decisions rendered by the commissions and agencies at any at every level of the government it is necessary to obey the law of land so legal environment is nothing but the constitution laws and orders you have to follow the companies act laws provisions you have to follow while operating your business organization take example of while advertising if you are advertising harmful harmful products like alcohol product tobacco products cigarettes like this you have to uh, you have to show along with the warnings along with the uh, ad advertisement of the product you also have to show the warnings if you consume this particular product what is the effect on your health you can see while uh, a cigarette on cigarette you can see it is harmful for the lungs you can see the pictures this is what uh, the rules law that the government has that government has pronounced if you are producing if you are producing the harmful product then you have to show the advertisement along with the health warnings if you consume this particular product what is going to affect on your business uh, on your health so uh, this is what the business dimensions business environment dimensions in later class we are going to discuss about the economic environment in india thank you